I skipped school that day to watch it. I remember sitting in the family room watching them come back and then take the lead and you know just like everywhere you're just sort of in awe because the Red Army team historically was dominant and for all the pieces that come into place and then to win that game really set them up to win a gold medal. What really comes to mind is USA putting a stamp in the hockey world. It was just an incredible feeling to be an American watching a bunch of amateurs playing against professionals and winning that hockey game. With all the things that were going on through the Cold War, USA versus Russia went a lot deeper than I think everybody really thought, but just with the hockey game. I think a lot has to do with Herbie Brooks and the way he pushed them. He pushed them to levels out of their comfort zone and tested their mental toughness day in and day out. They always said the Russians trained the hardest. They trained hard. They say they were amateur at the time, but they were playing in professional leagues. They were very polished players. And when you look at the Red Army and what they achieved and how they owned the world championships year in and year out, and if you looked at the previous Olympics, the series against the NHL, I mean, they were dominant and they had some outstanding players, great goaltending, and it was a, a big hill to climb, but uh, they were able to do it. When you have belief in a hockey team, it's amazing the things you can accomplish. Guys had to learn the hard way, and Herbie challenged them, and everything seemed to come together at the right time. The players really stepped up and said they were a family, and they didn't want any new additions to the team, and that's a credit to Herbie Brooks. They didn't really rely on a lot of guys, but that's what you need. You need different contributions from different players at key times. When Mike Erosione scored that fourth goal, I mean, that was bringing down the house. They kept panning the fans, and I think everybody was just in shock that we were able to do that. I remember just standing up, just couldn't believe that uh, they have an opportunity to win a gold medal. We did something that nobody else thought we could do. You never mind the 1960 team, because that's the really the miracle never really they didn't have the media like they did in 1980, and still, I mean, to now it's incredible, but they were on ABC, Al Michaels calling the game with Ken Dryden doing the analyzing, and, um, and people were able to watch that in their homes, and, and for us to be able to win that, it gave uh, us uh, something to be very proud of as a hockey nation.